So if you talk to uh, any of your followers or readers that are electricians, or you go out on an industrial commercial job site and look at their parts, the tool you're going to hear over and over again that they use is a count out meter. Count meters really are that core tool for electrician. It's similar to a pipe wrench and a pipe fitter. It's the tool that they use day in and day out. They take a lot of pride in their kind of running and making sure it looks accurate and it looks good at the end of the day. When we first started looking at this category, we saw a similar story to a lot of the other handful categories we've gotten into, and that's that it was very stagnant. Uh, competition was more or less the same. They launched their tools a number of years ago, and other than a few small tweaks, not a lot of change. They haven't really brought any innovation to the user uh, in this space. That's obviously not the approach we take here at Milwaukee Tool. Uh, from our first eight hand tools we launched, the over 700 we have now, it's been focused on the user. How do you make things easier? How do you make that tool more durable, more versatile? And that's exactly the approach we took to the condo vendor. So you're going to see improved easy use, as well as that durability that users expect from Milwaukee. We've been able to bring that to these condo vendors. So we're going to have five new condo vendors. We're going to have half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch iron shoe condo vendors launching in September of this year. And then in January, we're going to follow that up with half inch and three quarter inch lightweight aluminum condo vendors. It's really that full range that we see users bending out on the job by hand, that half inch all the way up to one inch EMT. Milwaukee, you know, obviously dedicated electrical to trade. We're now going to have a solution for that. First big thing you're going to notice that's different than competition is the high contrast marking. So if you look at all competitive vendors, you're going to have just, if it's an iron shoe, it's going to be a black raised mark on a black shoe. If it's aluminum, it's a silver raised mark on a silver shoe. And they're using these marks all day long to make sure that condo is bent accurately. They want to hit that 10, that 30, that 45 degree angle so that when they put it up, it matches to the holes they've already cut into that box, wherever it may be. Uh, but it's difficult to see with competitive models. We're going to have these high contrast markings to give users that best versatility. They're the only ones on the market. So when you go ahead and they need to make that 30 degree bend, they can get that condo lined up, and then when they make that bend, get near that 30 degrees, they can step back and see, I gotta go a little bit further here. And now they can look and see that it's lined up with that uh, 30 degree mark, it's accurate, they can put it up with confidence, and know that this bend is good to go. The other thing we heard from users was to look at the durability. So if this hook, where the condo is getting held, if that gets deformed in any way, whether it's from them storing it and it tipping over, or someone bending something they shouldn't with it, if it gets deformed, Every bend you do after that is going to be inaccurate, so you might as well throw the tool out. We've reinforced both the hook and the pedal, the two spots we saw as most at risk, to make sure this tool has the durability that users expect out of Milwaukee. We also talked to them about the handle. The big thing we heard there was, with all competitive models, it's just a threaded pipe that screws in that shoe, and it comes loose. So every time before they bend, they have to retighten it. It's a major pain point for the user, uh, just whether it's something that's brand new, the one that's been out for five years, they can't get it completely tight. Milwaukee's solved that for them with our uh, double bolted secure handle. So this will not come apart, it won't loosen. They can take it apart if they want to, but day in and day out when they're bending conduit, they can do just that. They don't gotta actually tighten the shoe first. They can use the tool to do what it's meant to, and that's bend conduit. Lastly, we spent a lot of time talking to electricians about what else do you want to see on this? And they told us, you know, kind of betting is a pretty complex thing. There's a lot of measurements, a lot of numbers I need to remember, a lot of, you know, how to's, and it's, it's a lot. So we were able to, we went out and looked at what reference tools can we put on here to make sure it's easier to use. So whether it's putting something like an offset multiplier on the backside that they're going to use for offset bends, um, all the way through having this wear resistant sharp that's going to have a guide on some of those most common bends. We've put those most bending references on here for that easier use, so they're not having to refer to numbers that they've written down in the car hat or numbers they have on a laminated sheet of paper they keep in their pocket or having to Google it. So whether they're you know brand new to the trades and they need a quick reminder on something they learned in their training class the week before, or they've been out there 20 years and they just need a reminder of the offset number that goes from 30 degrees is two, we put it on the shoe to have that easier use. So again, we're gonna have those five new models. Uh, the iron launch will be in September, followed by the aluminum in January that really fill that full range of powder that we see being done by hand. Milwaukee will now have a solution for our electricians.